Welcome back, everybody. It's time to get Kila. So, if you didn't see my conversation with Jay from uh, the Grey Dog channel, you probably should go and watch that first so that you understand the kind of person I'm talking about. He and I were having a discussion uh, on Facebook because I had posted a meme. Uh, let me see if I can't find it. Um, about cis people use or people perceiving the label cis as a slur because they use trans as a slur. And I'll I'll drop it in the video um, right here so that people can see what I'm talking about. But my friend, he pushed back on that. And it was, it got me thinking. So, yeah. Um, I'm reading from the meme right now. It says, cis isn't a slur. You just think it is because you use trans as a slur. So I'll put a pin in that one. And the comment that initially uh, sparked the conversation was, when people come up with a term to apply to others without their consent, it may not be a slur, but it is definitely something, an indeterminate something. How you want me to refer to you and address you, I am 100% down, uh, I am down 100% and will gladly do so. I don't know that I feel any super strong feelings about cis, but I didn't ask for it. And Jay is by no means uh, you know, someone that I would consider anti-trans or in the modern internet parlance transphobic, but that's a different that's a discussion for a different video. Um and you know, we went back and forth and we talked about well how do trans people see themselves versus how do uh, not trans people uh, see themselves and what labels apply. And he asked me if I see myself as trans. Um, and my reply to him, and or I'll read the question and then my answer because the, we're, we're starting to get into a lot of nuance here. Um, and I think it's important for the broader discussion uh, to really have this nuance because not everybody perceives the same, uh, the same set of terms. Now, I, for the record, the terms cis and trans are Latin prefixes that are used to describe other terms. So cis is the Latin pre prefix for being on the same side of. Trans is being the opposite side of. There, when we use it in terms of gender, uh, we're applying this logic to uh, the assigned gender at birth. So I was assigned male at birth. But my, my internal identity is female. So I'm transgender. Someone who's cis gendered was assigned a gender at birth. And the way they see themselves align with that same uh, that same gender. So they're on the same side of. So here we go. Do He asks, do you not wish to be called trans or identified as such? 
And my reply reads, that's a really complex question. There was a nearly lethal mismatch between my brain structures and my OAM genitalia and other reproductive organs. My meat sack is male. My brain isn't. Am I really trans? I am, but not, but not because I wanted to be. I regard the trans label as necessary evil and begrudgingly embrace it. I can only summit the label because I've gotten good at being part of two worlds and welcomed by neither. Hence why someone tried uh, to murder me when I was 15. I accept the label as trans because there really isn't an acceptable shorthand to describe what I really am. And he responds, and this is important to see where he's coming from. Fair, but I don't need to call you anything besides my, my first chosen name, which I don't use here on the channel, and my friend. If anybody in the trans community doesn't want to be called that, I'm totally okay with that too. And that got me thinking. When we ascribe labels to other people, we imbue that with our own perceptions of who these people are. I, you know, when I talk about, let's say, my father, I don't describe him as a cis man. I don't describe my wife as a cis woman. She's just a woman. She's also my wife. But for me, using the cis and trans label are only, I only really use it to differentiate between when I'm talking, when I'm comparing uh, trans people and not trans people. And because this is such a heated debate and people are investing in the various ideologies, we have a lot of really bad feedback loops. And it's not any one person's fault specifically, but it's something that we really need to deal with. So what can we do? How do we, how do we navigate this particular nuance? You know, for myself, I'm probably going to use uh, the term cis a lot less because it unnecessarily makes uh, potential enemies out of people. Um, and I get that. I get why someone would not want to feel put upon. I mean, as a trans person when someone misgenders me or calls me by my dead name, um, and I have issues with that term too, but that's not relevant. But when somebody calls me by my dead name, that's not my name anymore. I legally gave that up. And it's not something I asked for. Um, when people m deliberately misgender me. I didn't ask for that either. And it poisons my perception of them. They could be otherwise wonderful people, but that one thing sticks out in my mind. And okay, I get it. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I look at cis and trans in very clinical, very dictionary terms. But for some people, they they have that emotional component. I can't control that. So, yeah. I mean, when you talk to people, when you talk about people, just consider how you would feel when you're on the receiving end of those um, 
same terms and getting labels that you don't really ascribe to. I would love to hear your comments. Please leave them down below. Um, I've droned on long enough. Until the next time, please be safe. Be well. Take charge.